Ha ha ha, yeah. Guess who's back in the game? Lost inside, you'll never find. Lost within my own mind. Day after day, this misery must go on. So far away, we wait for the day, yeah. For the night's all so wasted in blood. We feel the pain of a lifetime lost in a thousand days. Through the fire and the flames we carry. Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our many fighters. The Deadly Six from Sonic Lost World and the Freaky Monkey Five with their boss Spectre from Ape Escape. Which of these fearsome fighting foes will come out on top? This is Universes. Not much is known about these enemies. They're a race of mysterious creatures known as the Zeti, who supposedly live on a floating island called the Lost Hex. As it turned out, these creatures had incredible powers and fighting skill, leading the villainous Dr. Eggman to track them down and enslave them with a cacophonic conch that kept their powers in check. Eggman's plan seemed to be working pretty well. He had a deadly force of six and no one to stop him except a single hedgehog. I mean, yeah, Tails was there too, but he never does anything anymore. Anyways, everything could have gone well for Eggman if Sonic hadn't knocked the cacophonic conch away from Eggman, releasing the Zeddy from his clutches. With their powers unrestricted, the Zeddy were able to get their revenge on Dr. Eggman and planned to use his equipment to zap the energy from the planet below. But even with their powers unrestricted, that wasn't going to keep Sonic away, so they needed to prepare for battle with their many abilities. All the Zeddy seem to have the ability to shoot out pure energy that can either explode or chase down their foes. Zaz is crazy and can launch a giant yellow ball of doom at his enemies or just shoulder charge them. Zomom can try and stomp on his enemies or create tornadoes by spinning. He can also drill in the ground. Xena seems to control the power of snow and ice. Master Zik controls the power of... fruit? Zor is super moody and controls and manipulates shadows. He also can control mechanical objects that can shoot missiles. Then finally is their leader, Zavok, who has the most abilities. He's an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, controls a giant metal dragon that conducts electricity, and he can change his size and spit fire. And while these Zeddy all have different powers, they unfortunately share the same weakness. If you recall before, I stated that Eggman was able to keep their power restricted with a device called the Cacophonic Conch. Cacophonic meaning a sound that is unpleasant, loud, and non-musical. The Zeddy all also have the ability to control and manipulate technology, but it seems these sounds can disable this ability entirely. Either way though, the Zeddy are still a force to be reckoned with. They are able to destroy a metal bridge by chopping and chucking boulders larger than themselves. Now, the Zeddy don't have very many physical feats of strength on their own. I mean, most of them can affect a giant sphere of land, which should be large building level or higher in terms of their own strength, but what about scaling? Well, they do seem to be on par with Sonic's base form that was able to defeat the city flooding perfect chaos. And when you consider the fact that Sonic's quills are able to rip and tear through metal like nothing, it's a pretty impressive durability feat that the Zeddy can survive beatings from the blue blur. As for speed though, Sonic in his base form is able to run so fast that he casually breaks the sound barrier, and he's able to outpace Knuckles who can punch so fast that his fists ignite at Mach 5. They may not have been enough to push Sonic to his super form, but I wonder if they're enough to wipe out Spectre and his fighting team. Let's take a look. Somebody messed up royally, because we don't have Sonic. We know! It all started at a little place called Monkey Park, home to a sweet little albino monkey. However, this poor monkey was mistreated, leading him to one day break out. He ran away and ended up making his way to the lab of a genius inventor, where he found a device called the Peak Point Helmet. When putting it on, his intelligence was maximized to its peak point. With his enhanced mind, he conjured up a plan to take over the world with time travel and his fellow monkeys so they'd never be mistreated by man again. Unfortunately though, his plans were foiled by a monkey catcher named Spike, and he was sent back to the park. 
It didn't take long for him to break out and get his hands on the helmet again though, and this time he made sure he wouldn't fail by creating Super Vita Z Bananas to power up a new fighting force to aid him. This fighting force was known as the Freaky Monkey 5, and just like with the Deadly Six, we'll take a look at their shared abilities first. Similar to Spectre, each member of this team has their own peak point helmet, bringing their mind to its highest point possible. They can summon and control mechanical minions and create shockwaves. Yep, one thing you'll learn about when fighting these guys is that you'll have lots of shockwaves to jump over. Monkey Blue rides around on a motorbike, wields a gun, and can even protect himself in a barrier of energy. Monkey Yellow can teleport, is a sumo wrestler, and can shoot ninja stars out of his... nipples. Monkey Pink is a singer, can push back her foes with sound waves, and control electricity. Her anger is her power. Monkey White is a genius inventor, and has a robot with all of Jimmy's gadgets. He can even control his own mechanical metal dragon. And Monkey Red is a martial arts expert with the power of fire. Then finally is Spectre with the most abilities. This crazy little albino monkey can fly, he can teleport, he can control machines, he can control energy, he has telekinesis, he can make clones, he has his own stun clubs and satellite ray, and he can shoot gigantic fireballs that explode into a bunch of tiny ones. And with these powers, these monkeys have been able to do some incredible things. Monkey Red was able to suplex a dinosaur, Monkey White's metal dragon can blow up a stone bridge, Monkey Pink can destroy her entire stage and performance area in her anger, in fact, Monkey Pink's anger gets so bad that it once created an explosion that almost eclipsed an entire island. Spectre himself was able to survive the destruction of an alien base, the explosion reaching town levels of destructive power. And it was done with his own satellite ray too. The Freaky Monkey 5 should also be able to scale to Jimmy, who survived an explosion on the moon so intense that it was visible from space, reaching continent levels of power. And if that wasn't enough, Spectre and his monkeys were smart enough to build a gigantic space station larger than the moon itself. And Dr. Tomoki, who at least Spectre should be superior to, was able to survive the self-destruction of that space station. All this along with some impressive bullet and laser dodging speed feats that reach hypersonic levels, it's pretty safe to say that these monkeys are freaky. But can freaky beat deadly? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. I'll give up my evil ways if you can beat me. <laughs> okay then, let's settle this. bringing you yet again another universal prediction that's back in action today i got some special guests with me we got the great demon in the house folks hello everyone it's your rule of the great demon himself without archer we got aiden kerr in the house hello everybody i am aiden kerr we got simple star in the crib hey guys i'm simple star and we got z dog freaking s in the house hey i'm here so what are we what are we talking about today, guys? Once you start us off, uh, Z Dog. Well, today we're talking about the next universes, which is the team. Exactly, but tell me who you going for, right quick, so oh. we can get started. Well, first of all, we should probably say who the fighters is. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Z Dog wants you introduce the fighters. Uh, it's the Deadly Six from Sonic Lost World versus the Freaky Furious Five plus Spectre from Ape Escape. Oh. Yeah. Plus, okay. So. See, that's. What it's gonna be good. I can. So who are we going for here? I think in the six. I mean, that's personally me. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Same. I'm going with Deadly Six. Dude, just peel. There's just three words. Words. Machine manipulation hack. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's the main problem here, because a lot of the Freaky Furious is fives like equipment is like mechanical. So if, so a lot of the Deadly Six could uh, hack their machines and have them work against them. Even the traveler. That's true. I think it was Yellow Monkey, like, that was... Yeah, that, they all have generic names. It was just the Yellow Monkey. Yeah. He, like, turned, like, the size of a mountain. Like, mountain. So, that could be a problem, but... But if you remember, Dor Doriak, um, who can also do the same size size change, can actually maybe counter it. Yeah. 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 Well, he's got firepower. Yeah. I know Spectre scaling the, you know, Spike is about reacting to lasers and stuff like that, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but the whole, but I, think, but I think he did it when he was in his chair, that whole machine chair, so if they just get rid of that, it might be hard for Spectre to do anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Also, also, I personally think the... the chair and just make the chair, like, just off the cliff or something. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I also think the Deadly Six have a experience edge over them. Because, mainly because of Master X, their leader, because the, he has... I forget what he says, but, like, he has... He's, like... Well, he was their founder, and I think he had, like, a hundred years, like, worth of... And he also has my old telekinesis. He's, he's fast enough to keep up with Sonic, and yeah. he showed us some of the cutscenes. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the most smartest ones in the group. He, he, he trained all the Zeddy. Yeah. Yeah. The one problem... I Oh yeah, the uh, magic con. Yeah, but I don't think it works like that. I think the con was a specific. Like, I think it was like sound unique to the Zeddy themselves. Yeah. 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 So I don't think their weakness is just sound waves in general. Yeah. So, yeah. Because Eggman said himself that the con itself is is a rare item that can only be used against the Zeddy. Yeah. That means it has to be something different, and you need that you can't just make yourself. Very true. Yeah, so their sound waves. Good point. That's a good point. Um, Simple Star, you have anything you want to add? Yeah, um, like the yellow monkey, like he's not even that durable. Like you just need to knock out his teeth and he'll go back to normal. Like. Yeah, yeah. Th this is in his giant form, by the way. Yeah, he's not that strong either. True. He's, like not that durable. Yeah. What do you guys oh, think? I said, we pulls something around us. Like pulls a loop and says like, Spike equals the deadly six and then maybe something would happen <laughs> yeah i mean you just never know there might be something in there that we have that we missed you know so yeah but it, but just the thing is they rely on mainly machines right so yeah. that's going to be their yeah. biggest problem yeah that's the, that's the biggest problem for them well yeah that's what we all agreed on basically before this even started i mean the whole machine manipulation and all that yeah because so it's not looking good that these things have like some weird ability to control all machines around them yeah so that basically sums not, that up. I mean, better yeah. hacks, better, better tr training, experience. probably. I mean, yeah, experience. Yeah. I think overall, everything they beat, uh, except for maybe... Versatility, maybe? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. Cause... I mean, like, they got yeah, he even there. beats the yellow monkey easy, because he's stronger. Like, he can deal damage easier. Yeah, very true. Even some of the weakest Zeddy are strong enough to karate chop boulders of ease. Yeah, that's no easy nice. thing. That's pretty good. And also the, fat, also the fat one, the big old yellow fat one from the Deadly Six is actually fast enough to spin around so fast he can actually create tornadoes. Yep. Oh, they're pretty versatile, it sounds like, so. Yeah. But I believe that's it, so. Shout out to Leopold the Brave. We're going with the Deadly Freaking Six here. Yep, Deadly Six all the way. Yeah, yeah Deadly yeah, no Six. Contest. Yep. No, Mid-diff at best with Wink. Have a great day, guys. Peace. <laughs> yep. And the results are in. The winners are... Spectre and the Freaky Monkey 5. Yeah, remember that episode I cancelled Spectre vs. Kakashi saying Kakashi wins anyways? Turns out I was wrong. Ape Escape gets crazy. So let's have a look. We'll begin with the Deadly Six's advantages, or supposed advantages. The first one being experience. They likely have more experience as Master Zick founded the group and he's as old as dirt, meaning they've likely been around longer. There's also the fact that they have more experience working together as a team, where the Freaky Monkey 5 are often in one-on-one -on -one matches. But that's about it. Experience alone can't help you through everything. Now I know what you're thinking. The Deadly Six's technology controlling power should give them an advantage, right? I mean, after all, the monkey's powers rely on their peak point helmets, which are technology. But there appear to be some limitations to the Deadly Six's powers. First, it seems like they cannot control devices that are more manual than automatic, as they weren't able to control Dr. Eggman's Eggmobile. They had to destroy it. Second, it seems they can't control technology with its own free will. They weren't able to affect Orbot, Cubot, or Cyborg Tails. Third, Monkey Pink's sound manipulation may be able to affect the Zeddy in the same way as the Cacophonic Conch, disabling their technology controlling abilities. Then finally, there's the fact that Spectre and the Freaky Monkey 5 have that ability as well. They were smart enough to build a space station bigger than the moon itself, so it's unlikely the Deadly Six would be overpowering them mentally anytime soon. So no, unfortunately having the power to control technology isn't an advantage for the Deadly Six. 
all they have is experience still, even when taking stats into consideration. The Deadly Six all survived beatings from Sonic, but weren't able to push him into his super form. Sonic thrashed them all in his base form, which is town level and hypersonic in speeds at best. Spectre survived a town level blast on an alien ship, Monkey Pink was able to create nearly an island level blast, they all scaled a Jimmy who survived a continent level blast on the moon, and at least Spectre is superior to someone who's able to survive the destruction of a space station that was larger than the moon. Add that to their superior speeds of dodging lasers that can reach up to Mach 1000, and you've got yourself a victory fit for 5, plus 1. The winners are Spectre and the Freaky Monkey 5. So anyway, have fun twiddling your opposable thumbs. Well, bye bye. Get ready for the next battle. What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Now before I reveal the next fighters, first I want to say that just because Universes is back doesn't mean it's going to be on its regular schedule. I didn't intend to bring it back this soon, but Animation Rewind gave me a shout out recently involving Universes. So I really, really didn't want to disappoint the new subscribers that were waiting for a new episode. But anyways, the point is Universes may be back, but they won't be as close together as they originally were. I've really, really been enjoying making the other content that I've been making, and it seems to be gaining some momentum. So here's the deal. If you guys be sure to check out my other stuff and this momentum keeps up, you'll get more Universes. When I was doing Universes, it was so hard for my other content to get recognized. I became just the Universes channel, which I didn't want, so if you keep me from becoming that again, you will get more Universes. If those views on my other content start to dip, then I'm gonna have to stop Universes to keep working on them. So be sure to help keep a balance. Anyways, let's get to the new fighters. Ooh.